<laughs> yeah, nine seconds. Yeah, that's all yeah but you're, t- yeah. you're ten Katie years. Government just naptured that shit. Yeah. They're ten years before file transfer. There's yeah. no way. And not only so that he did have a case though, because it spent years in litigation from '88 until about like 1990, and then it was actually ruled. The judge ruled in favor of Insla, saying they had a case, but. In 91, the decision was overturned through appeal. And you know why it was overturned? Why? It was overturned It was overturned due to a technicality. The Court of Appeals ruled that the case should have been tried in federal district court and not bankruptcy court. So they overturned it. And then it went, the it went to federal district court where the guy was like, nah, nah, you guys got nothing. Fuck off. Right, so that's what that's what started Casaleros. Bankrupted these poor fucking people. They bankrupted these. They invented this, this revolutionary product, the software, and they bankrupted them, stole it. Now it gets even worse because, um, the Hamiltons then were approached by like some government officials who were like, "Listen, like, we're the United States is using this software, but we're also covertly." we're selling this software to other countries and we're using the money that we recoup from selling it to fund black op operations. That's what they told the Hamiltons. So the Hamiltons are like, what? So now when you start to look at this and you're like, they get the big court run around. And as soon as they hit the federal court where a a lesser court was like, you have a case, you a hundred percent have a case. This is, you know, kind of interesting. And then it, it does the big loop around, gets the federal court, and they're like, nah, nothing. You got nothing here. It's like, well, the people you're trying to look at are the same people, like, in bed with the people making these court decisions. It's crazy. And it gets even crazier because then later on, after this whole initial fiasco, Castellaro met Hamilton again, and he discussed the possibility of writing a story about Insla, the Promise software, and the government's involvement. Like, this, about just trying to expose this whole, all these shenanigans. Just this shitty, just this shady, shady basically bullshit. the government being a, being a the shady, government. yeah, and stealing from them, bankrupting well, we never, them. They, then we never heard the government st- do that before. That doesn't make uh, sense. No, it's never. so ungovernmently. Stealing their proprietary software, then selling it to other countries to fund black op operations. Like, man, who this, that sounds like a juicy story in itself. And then, but no, it gets crazier. And at that meeting... Hamilton gave him a 12-page memo written by a man named – someone's going to help, help me with this last name – Michael uh, Riconoscuto. Yeah, it's called Riconoscuto. Riconoscuto. Like outlining the allegation, outlining the allegations of the case. Riconoscuto claimed that the government had put some type of like backdoor into this promised software which would allow them to access the computer of anyone who was using it, like a spy software. So spying well, and, and, on spying on the people that sold it uh, sold it to like the Canadians, Canadians, well, other governments, other organizations. And if you think about what this like, f- think about like the implications of this, because this is supposed to revoli- revolutionize like the justice system, like law enforcement databases, and now you are selling this to countries to revolutionize theirs. And you have a backdoor to all of that information. Anyone using it. Absolutely everything. So, like, me as a private citizen, if I had a charge, you know, that was pending that I wasn't found guilty on, right? It was just going through the court systems or something. Now the United States government would know. They could flag me for whatever it was in any other kind of case. For whatever reason, they would know. They would have the, the intelligence. They would have just such a broad spectrum of, you know, data. It's... Unbelievable. And then it gets even crazier. The day before Casalero died, he met a man named William Turner, who was a former defense contractor. And Turner gave him documents proving corruption that Danny could tie to his case of the octopus. But before Danny could finish the article, finish the story about the octopus, this seemingly global spanning tentacle monster of surveillance and government conspiracy he was found dead in a hotel room okay fucking crazy we got to kick it back to rick and Shudo, though rick and Shudo, rick and Shudo, whatever yeah if you if you remember my little blurb from the pale horse there was a little there was a one word 
Uh, where is it? Let me find it. Ricano. Ricano. Okay. Hmm. Mentioned that in his book. Now, doing a little dig, a little little digging on Ricconciuto. Ricconciuto actually filed an affidavit before the House Judici- 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 Judiciary. 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 Does that sound right? Judiciary. 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 The House Judiciary. You got to really marble up your mouth to say it. Judiciary. There, he nailed it. Perfect. Sure. The Judiciary Committee. No, that's how he said it. The House Judiciary. Fucking hell. The House <laughs> Judiciary Committee. This is your photography. It's a yeah, hard judiciary. word, though. Photography is. is a pretty it easy is. word. It is harder. Okay, yeah. so the House Judiciary Committee, about his allegations that the government had put those back doors in the software, allowing them to spy on foreign governments that they sold the, the government to, right? So... He brings that up before the House. He had also claimed that these modifications made the software, um, the, these modifications of the software was made at a lab located on a Native American reservation in California because the reservation was, was uh, sovereign territory. So the government would have no regulation or, or sovereignty in there. Now, I, you know, like we want to maybe like hinder a guess as to, you know, what tribe presided on that land maybe the one that uh, fred alvarez was the tribal council chief of yeah that was murdered mm. that was murdered mm. Ex- execution style in addition he claimed that the reservation had been used by private security company in order to develop chemical and bio warfare weapons all right so he's making these giant Shit. claims so obviously the government everybody's got to take him seriously he's smoking gun you know, everybody's like, oh, this is fucking crazy, right? Well, unfortunately, within eight days of his declaration, Rick and Shooter was arrested for conspiracy to manufacture and distribute and possession to distribute or with intent to distribute of methamphetamine. Yeah. And got sentenced to 25 years in jail. God damn. You want to know something else pretty fucking weird about this? I was, I was licking this guy up because I, I like to do a lot of like I do a lot of reading on the Reddit boards. Uh, he's also one of the biggest candidates to be uh, Q. Really? Yeah. Which didn't is kind they, of didn't they find out who Q was? In Apparently, it, at some point, they thought it might be him. Interesting. Well, th- and this is interesting, too, because, I mean, <laughs> you know, we talked about it last week. You know, it seems like whenever there's uh, an, 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 issue, uh, an issue person, the easiest way to get them to silence them, um, you know, to drugs or kitty porn, drugs or kitty porn instantly, right? It's like, or kill them, I guess, you, or just, you, yeah, just, yeah, get rid or of you just straight suicide. up suicide, suicide them. But th- here's the thing: it's uh, if y- if they're saying something, though, usually it's. I would say this: when we've seen people who like like Ricono Shudo. Who are saying, who come forward and say these things, you know, it's if you if that person is murdered, then it just gives so much because nothing they're saying, everything they're saying is allegations. So if if they're, all of a sudden they end up mysteriously murdered, you go, God damn, he was obviously murdered because of what he was saying. That's that's what he was saying was fact. That has to be why he's dead. All of a sudden, if like, honestly, like. I hate to say because some people, some people, some people charge should be charged terrible, but it's like you put government puts kitty porn on your computer. They're like, hey, we're arresting you for kitty porn. Everyone goes, that guy's fucking crazy. I don't Absolutely, know, that, that guy's a piece of shit. Fought, 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 it's what a instant, loser. instant. They can see instant like that and like the dr- the drug so easy to get, just boom get a prosecution right, and then it's like, oh, this guy's a fucking drug dealer. He's a drug yeah. addict, right? Like, what? Well, and then who, even if you're guy? not convicted in the end. In the court of public opinion, you're guilty. For this guy guilty. was definitely convicted yeah. and spent, yeah, at least 20 years behind bars. Yeah, Poor I'm just saying if you were, <laughs> if if it happened to you, even if you weren't convicted, you you had a good defense. And you're like, I'm innocent. It doesn't matter. Yeah. If once and we are once, not just just, yeah. just to just to get the record straight. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not, not saying. saying that I'm just saying. You were convicted if you wanted to plant <laughs> something on somebody after you, we're we're saying that uh, we're if, saying that that's a, yeah. a government tool, fact, government tool that yeah. they've used in the past. 
uh, hashtag look it up in other cases, like the Shermans. They were plotting against the Shermans in the last week's case file to do just one of these two things. They're like, we. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.